Hello, wonderful people. Welcome back to my channel, The Teacher's Best Friend. So I, I thank you for stopping by to watch my video. We are now on series number six, which is about J1 visa sponsor. So if you remember, I told you that uh, we have about 10 series in order for you to understand the process of applying for a job in the United States without spending your fortune. So if, if you watch my series one, two, three, four, five, you will know that series number six is the most awaited one. I will show you the different agencies that can sponsor your J-1 visa without using a recruitment agency. And you can only pay minimal cost or sometimes if you already have an employer and they're willing to hire you, they will pay for the cost uh, from the J-1 visa sponsor. So first, I'm going to show you the website where to find those sponsors. And I'll, I'll show you some examples. And stand by because I am going to walk you to different websites. Are you ready? So let's begin. So first, we have the, they call it the Bridge USA. So if you look at the picture, I just screenshot the website and later I, sh I will show you the virtual website so we can um, discover what's in it and how to explore it, okay? So if you look at the URL address, it says there, J1 visa that state that all. And you can also read that Bridge USA and designated sponsor organizations. So it means if you are going to look for sponsoring agency, this is the website that you need to search. I also wrote the URL address here. So you can just uh, write it and then um, look and search for it, okay? So that's the first um, place that you need to know because all the sponsoring agencies for J1 can be found in this website. And there is one interesting that I can tell you. Do you know that uh, when you are applying for a job, most school district or state department education, they sponsor their own teachers using the J-1 visa. A good example is the Chicago Public School. So if any one of you is interested to apply to Chicago, they can place you in different schools in their uh, state, and then they are the one who will process your J-1 as well. So that is number one, Chicago Public Schools. So you can also check their website. I wrote it there. And later I'll show you the real virtual website, okay? So I'm just um, showing one by one to you the possibilities of exploring different state uh, education department who can sponsor your J-1 visa. And then the next one is the California Department of Education. They are also a sponsoring agency for J-1 te teachers. So if you apply in California schools and they accepted you, you can request to their um, California Department of Education to sponsor you for J-1. So you don't have to go anywhere. So take note of that. And another agency that you can also explore is uh, the IIE. The reason why I showed you this, uh, this agency, it's because I remember in 2006, this is the same agency who sponsored my J-1 visa, the International Education, and that's their website. I'll show that to you again uh, later, okay? And uh, another one, a uh, sponsoring agency, it's called J-1 Visa Exchanges, and that is their website address as well. So now let us begin with uh, exploring the different websites. Let's see. 
So uh, the first website that we are going to explore is the Bridge USA. This is the J1 visa that state that Gulf. So this is where you can find all the sponsoring agency. So here there are two pages. You can just scroll down and read, and then move to uh, the other page. So if if you are going to um, take a look at this carefully and click um, the first column, it will lead you to their website. So I'm going to show you later the Chicago Public Schools, the California Department of Education, as well as the International uh, Institute of Education and J1 visa exchanges. And, and there's one more, it's called uh, the basis. Basis um, is a starter school and they have a different school from uh, other states as well. And they sponsor J-1 visa direct. So one thing good about knowing this website, the Bridge USA, is that if you click the sponsoring agency, you can apply directly to them and they will place you to different schools as well. So depending on the need and depending also on where you want to go, whether in the East Coast or the West Coast, depending on the states your, of your preference. So they are directly processing J1 if you contact them. So you don't need a recruitment agency, just go directly to this sponsoring um, agencies. Okay, so remember this website. This is the primary one where you can uh, locate all the J1 sponsoring agency. So let us explore this time the Chicago Public Schools. So as I mentioned to you, if you would like to work in Chicago, you can go to this website and look for schools. Once you pass the interview for that school and they are willing to hire you, then the Chicago Public Schools can process your visa going to the United States. So this is their website, the Chicago Public Schools. And uh, here you see the international teachers and what they are looking for. So um, benefit for teachers, it's there. And then uh, if you can see here, if you are from Spain or China or Japan and Philippines, they sponsor J-1 visa. So for those teachers that live in the Philippines, this is a very good opportunity. And uh, it says there, we currently can sponsor teachers who are natives and current resident and of one of the partner countries. So these are the partner countries. So please contact their talent office. And this is the email address okay so with additional questions so if you would like to work at uh, chicago public schools they are ready to sponsor j1 visa and they will shoulder the cost and another one is uh, the california department of education this is the website of the various schools in California. So I am just showing this to you because you know California is a huge state and they have a lot of public schools. So here, I'm just showing it to you and you can just, uh, if you want to go to the next page, you can just click that and so on and so forth. Depending on the location or county you would like to apply. So when you click one school, you will see their um, job opening. So you will submit your application there and whatever requirements they will set you for interview. Once you pass the interview, then their Department of Education, California Department of Education can sponsor you for J1 because they are listed as one of the J1 sponsors. Okay, so that's Chicago and then California. Another agency that uh, we can explore is uh, the J-1 visa exchanges. So here, 
the one visa exchanges, you can just uh, read the information and that is the URL address. And um, look at this one. If you are a J1, so you have to click here and they will, um, they will explain even the requirements and the cost and the process. So usually they just charge very minimal, like just for uh, the service and uh, for the DS 2019. And sometimes, as I mentioned in my previous uh, episode, you can also negotiate to the school if uh, they will pay these uh, fees because they are just very minimal. So in other words, if you use these sponsoring agencies, your only cost to go to the United States is your plane ticket. So follow this procedure, okay? Another thing is the, the International Institute of Education. So I, I love this uh, sponsoring agency because this is the one who processed my J1 in 2006 when I came to the United States. So you can explore their website as well and plus the costs of the J-1 visa. And this one is a uh, basis.ed, is a group of charter schools. So look at their job openings. So if you are on this position, look at that, a lot. So just submit your application once they like you and you meet the requirements and what they're looking for, they can process your J-1, the basis of that ed. So um, try it. See, so many elementary school teacher, physics, art, math, uh, even uh, special education, first grade, so many opening for teachers and depending also on the location. So these are the areas. Awatuki, Goodyear, I think these are in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. So you can just explore, wow, so many job vacancies. Try to submit your application and then they can set you up for interview. Once you pass the interview, then that's it. They will process your J-1 visa direct, okay? So, let me go back to the main website. So this is the one that you need to look for once you find a, uh, an employer who is willing to hire you. And if they don't have um, the capability of sponsoring you for J1, then you can look for an agency here, email them, you can tell them that uh, you got accepted in this school district and um, they are willing to hire you, but they don't have a sponsoring agency. Can you sponsor my J-1? And then they will contact that school district. They will communicate to them. And sometimes they will even send the invoice to that district and they will inform you of the process. And the next thing you know is you are ready for your embassy interview. And um, I will also put that out in the episode, okay? So isn't it exciting? Just find out the process and uh, it, it is easy. And one thing is for yourself to be prepared with interview because that is your chance of getting hired, prepare for interview. So if you have questions, just write them on the comment uh, line down below. And you can also email me at the teacher's best friend at gmail.com. And I am willing to assist you and guide you with the process. So, but finding an employer is up to you. Just follow my series one to five. And then after that, this is the series six where you can find an agency who can sponsor your J-1 visa. So good luck. So thank you for watching and I'll see you on my next episode. And um, thank you so much and to God be the glory. Bye for now.